Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today, I want to show you or explain how you attach these um, emblems. They're stucco decorations, call them whatever you want, but they're emblems technically. Now, the contractor said, gee, Kirk, can you install these? And I said, yes and no. I know how, but I prefer not to. I don't want to get involved with that. He only has so many. He's got like 14 he wants to put around the front of the house. The city says, hey, gee, you guys can do this, but we want those back on. Don't ask me why. Anyway, uh, this particular one is solid concrete. So they poured the forms and then flipped it over. And what does that mean for fellows like me? It means they're a drag to put on because, okay, they use some railroad spikes. How they got these off perfectly, I don't know because there's about 10 or 15 and they're all in great shape. Uh, generally, you touch this stuff and it just cracks in half which brings me to the point I'm trying to make. I told the contractor, if it were me, I'd drill four holes, pre-drill them, and then pre-drill a countersink so when you set that screw in here, it'll hold them. And here's what I'll generally use when I install them. By the way, guys, I don't mind installing the plastic ones or the um, uh, styrofoam ones. The styrofoam ones are lightweight and you can't go wrong. Uh, these, I mean, it's 20 pounds, man. Uh, if you if you apply this or the plaster ones, which are about half the weight, if you don't do it right, they could fall. Have I ever had one fall? No, but it could. Anyway, you would you would mount this particular one here with a poly bond. This stuff here is an adhesive for base coats. We use it for styrofoam. So that's why I was telling him, clean this one off, pressure wash it well, get rid of all this residue on the back. Uh, you got clinkers everywhere where it used to adhere. And instead of using nails, this time screw it in and use four per because they're so darn heavy. Um, the, the plastic ones, believe it or not, they look just like this and you can't tell them apart and they'll last, they're like polyurethane, they'll last forever. You could even use this construction uh, sealant to seal those. Um, anyway, you, a fellow asked me, well, why, why do people have them? And I thought, heck, I don't know, there's some kind of symbolic representation from an earlier time. Uh, I guess if you have dragons, gargoyles, and uh, demons and stuff like that, maybe that's a Game of Thrones error. I don't know, but they're all over the place. Like we notice them, especially in other countries. They have quite a few of them, gargoyles, just all over the place. So I thought I'd explain how to attach these guys. Whenever possible, go styrofoam, because these are so heavy. If you don't do it right and they fall, you kill somebody. So that's why I told him, drill four holes, use the best screws possible, countersink them in there, and get them in the wood at least an inch and a half into a stud or preferably, or some shear wall. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd point that out because it was a pretty good question. Hopefully they didn't break because that's some fragile stuff. Anyway, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. We thank you for watching, and as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.